Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be another video covering the new Fab Marketplace. So I've done a video on what Fab is. My last video was how to create a seller account. And today, what I'm going to be doing is migrating my assets from the Unreligion Marketplace to the new Fab Marketplace. And like becoming a seller, I'm recording this process so that I can help you learn how to do it as well. So what you're going to do is after you've created your seller account in the previous video, you can refresh that page after up to 36 hours and you should have this listing page here. If that doesn't work for you, just press on your little account icon in the top right and then it should take you to this page. If it doesn't, then it just means you've not been accepted yet. But once you get to this listing page, what you're gonna to want to do is press migrate listings. And then you can do Sketchfab as well if you have any, but that is mid-October that that will be coming. So for the moment, it's just gonna be on the UE Marketplace and you can see here how many migratable listings you have how many you've already migrated and how many have failed. So I've not done this yet. So I've only got two migratable listings that we're going to be carrying over. And you can see it's linked as Copper Gaming. So I'm going to press Migrate Listings. And you can see migration is in process. Migration may take a few minutes. We will migrate all existing data to the new listing, including our best attempt at mapping categories and tags. We'll email you when it's done. After migration, review and submit each listing for approval. We strongly encourage you to review each listing thoroughly and update as needed before submitting it for review. Check out the migration frequently asked questions while you wait. So it's going to basically carry everything over all the details that you set up on the marketplace page. However, it might not have everything perfectly. There might be some things that you need to redo and reapply or just change over to make more sense as it might not have done it properly. So while it's doing this, you can then migrate from another marketplace if you're watching this in the future and Sketchfab and other marketplaces are available as well. But at the moment, it's just the Unreal. So I'm going to go to my Fab Publishing Portal and you can see both of them are now here perfectly. So we have the Quest System Starter Pack and the Stealth AI Starter Pack as well. So let's start with the Stealth AI. You can see both of these are drafts. I'll click on this one and you can see we have all of these details here. So you've got included files here is Unreal Engine. I can click on this and you've got the different versions and we have the link there which is perfect no version notes all of this is perfect you have the distribution method it is an asset pack and then you have the technical details here all of this has carried over perfectly so that is fine by me and you can add a new format as well but i don't need to do that you can see you can have unity as well or any other additional files because as i've mentioned in one of my other videos fab is now a multi-engine marketplace which i think is pretty cool but for me and copper gaming at the moment we're just focusing on unreal engine however we may look at other things in the future so if we go back to just the main page clicking the left top left button up here we can have a look at everything else so the title and the description all of this still all looks good it's all carried over perfectly so this is really nice we have the product type it's listed it as smart assets which isn't what i did before so let's have a look at what all the other ones are on here because i think that might not be perfect so we have 2D assets, 3D models, animations, audio, education and tutorials, environments, game systems, that might be better for what I'm doing, game templates, HRI, material and textures, smart assets, so what is smart assets? That is 3D meshes with scripts for interactability. Okay, so that might be it as well. Game systems is assets that utilize a game engine's functionalities to provide ready-made features for game making or gameplay. So I think it fits under both of those Game systems is probably better for me. Let's have a look at the other ones as well. We have tools and plugins, UI and VFX. So I think I'm going to put this under game systems. That makes more sense for me. Personally, how I would describe this asset, I'd say it's a game system rather than a smart asset. So let's change the product type to game systems like so. And this is why you need to go over and actually have a look at what you're doing because those product types are completely new and completely different from the marketplace. So just make sure you're double checking everything before just immediately submitting it for review. Because then also there isn't a category in here. Category for this one, you've got animations, automations, dialogue systems, gameplay features, network and multiplayer, and procedural systems. I'm going to put this one under gameplay features. And then the license type. Now this is new as well. So you can have a look. So let's press view license details. Because like I say, the licenses is something that is new with Fab. This wasn't actually in the Unreal Marketplace. So we have the Epic Marketplace Content License Agreement. And you can read through all of this to make sure this is the correct license that you want. So a standard license grants you a non-exclusive and non-transferable license to privately use, reproduce, display, perform, and modify the content in accordance with the terms of this agreement. 
This means that as long as you're not violating this agreement, such as by using the content in violation of any applicable law or regulation, or for any unlawful purpose, you can privately use the content however you want under a standard license. If you want to share the content or anything you make with it, sections four and five address when and how you can do that. So then you can go here, how can you share projects you've made with content? So projects, if under a standard license, you develop projects that are made using the content or combine the content with any other software or content, regardless of how much or how little content is used, you may only distribute those projects as expressly permitted under this agreement's distribution means. With respect to a project to provide or otherwise make a copy of the project available publicly or to any other personal entity or make the project's functionality available on a network. How can you share content on its own? Sharing content under a standard license, you may not distribute content on a standalone basis to third parties except to your collaborators, either directly or through a third party repository who are utilizing the content in good faith to develop a project with you or on your behalf. This means, for example, that you may share content with your employees, affiliates, and contractors in a private online repository while you work on a project together. Those collaborators you share content with are not permitted to further distribute the content, including as incorporated in a project, and must delete the content once it is no longer needed for developing a project with you or on your behalf. You are responsible for ensuring that any third parties you share content with comply with the terms of this agreement, and you are solely liable for any violation of this agreement by collaborators with respect to any content you share. So that's interesting because that is different from the Unreal Marketplace. It used to be before that you can just share it with anyone in your team that you're working with, but now as you can do that, however, they must delete it after they've finished using it. So let's also have a look at the content license grant. So content may be offered at different license tiers and before completing a transaction, you may be required to select between a personal reference only tier, a personal tier and a professional tier. Each of these are a license tier. The license tier you select will have an impact on what license you are granted to the content. You are only eligible for a personal reference only tier or personal tier if at the time of transaction you, together with any controlling entity and other entities under common control with you, have not generated more than $100,000 in gross revenue from commercial activity in the last 12 months. For purpose of this calculation, revenue includes any advances received or other funds raised. If you complete a transaction for a license tier, you are not eligible for, you must upon request pay Epic the remainder of what you would have owed you purchased a license tier you were eligible for. So that makes sense. If you're earning over $100,000 US dollars in any form within your company, you can't get the personal tier. And if you do get it when you're not meant to, you just have to pay the remainder of the actual tier that you're supposed to get. And then let's also look at the Creative Commons free license. So if we go on to this license details, this is just normal Creative Commons, which I'm sure most of you are aware of. And with this, you are, with this, you are free to share and adapt, but you must give appropriate attribution to the people as well who made it. So this is attribution 4.0, which as again, you should really be aware of and all the different Creative Commons licenses if you're working on stuff like this. And if you don't know them, I would recommend learning them because it is very useful to know for both you know 3D models, textures, audio, music, sound effects, whatever it is, all these different licenses are very important to know. So I've kind of just read through those. I would definitely recommend you reading through them as well because a license is something very important that you make sure you're adhering to and you've read properly and you understand it. But for me and for the majority of people, you're just going to tick standard unless, of course, you want it to be Creative Commons. But for the most part, you just want standard. And then you've got the price on here. That's the same for me. So the personal price I've got is $15, which is what we had. And then the professional price, you can keep it the same or you can make it more expensive if you want. So this is just, again, going to be the difference of the different licenses. I think for the time being, I'm probably just going to keep it as the same for both personal and professional. Because this is something new, you know, the different licenses. This is new with the Fab Marketplace of having to pay more if you're a, trying to make money from it, if you're a professional rather than personal. For me personally, I think we're just going to leave it as the same. If we do anything, we just drop the personal instead of increasing the professional because the price we set is the price we want it to be. So, so we might change this in the future as we think about it more. But like I say, for the moment, it's going to be staying the same as what it was on the Unreal Marketplace. And I imagine most people will be doing the same thing. Then you've got tags. So these are all the tags we had before, but you can obviously add more tags on as well. And then you've got all of the different images in here too. All of these have carried over perfectly fine. Then we have some more options down here, which are new with Fab. So mature content. Uh, no, this listing does not contain any mature content. Uh, we do not want to allow this product to be used by generative AI programs. And this also was not created with AI. So we don't need to take that there. 
So this is new AI feature stuff as well. Now, what's interesting is they did say that you have to say whether it's created with AI or not. However, you can see here that this doesn't have an asterisk, which means it's not required. So it's not required to answer. Now, obviously, that's just because the only answer is yes, I did, not yes, I did, or no, I haven't. But since it's not required to answer, I wonder how they're going to actually enforce that. So that's interesting to see how that applies. Uh, but we didn't use AI and we don't want AI to use this. Promotional content. So check the box below if your product contains promotional content. We'll notify users that your product contains promotional content. Promotional content may include, for example, product placement, logos, slogans, or other content that promotes or advertises your own or someone else's real world brand. So I'm going to take that it does include promotional content because we have our logo within here. So a lot of people might get this wrong. They think, oh, well, I'm not promoting anything else because they would assume that it's being they're being paid to promote a different product. But that also includes your own branding. So if your company has your logo anywhere within the product, then you are promoting something. So you have to tick includes promotional content. So I've ticked that there because we have our logo. As you can probably see there on the little character, he has our logo on it and also in other places within there as well. See if I can see on any images. Probably not. But if I click on this, you can't actually see it, never mind. But on the side of the building, there's also a logo. Uh, so I will make sure to tick include promotional content. But as you can see, that was really easy to do. Majority of the stuff has been carried over, which is very nice. There's just a few things that needed changing. So what I'm going to do is just preview the listing and then I'll submit it. So you can go through here, see all of these. And this is obviously what Fab Marketplace is going to look like. I think it looks quite nice. I think it does look a little bit better than the Omra Marketplace, but obviously it's very, very similar. But I do like how it looks. Uh, so we can go through all of these different images here but yeah on the side of this building there is where we have our logo um, and again on the characters themselves as well as you can see as well that includes formats you've got all the details so when it was published the licensing age rating and all of this good stuff which is really cool that it's on here and then you can select a license again for me i've kept it the same uh the rating is interesting that it's not on there because we do have something like nine five star reviews i think or something like that we have quite a few um so hopefully that does carry over soon Again, the whole no written reviews and no questions thing is something that I've spoken about before in my other videos. I don't necessarily agree with that. I hope that they change it, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about just how to migrate your stuff over. You can see here as well, included formats. You've got Unreal Engine, Asset Package, Technical Details, Compatibility. All this is good. So this is interesting. The Technical Details is now down here instead of just being a part of the description here. So that's quite interesting because a lot of people put in the technical details as well because it used to be part of the same thing so this might change how you want to actually format stuff so this might change how you actually want to format everything and how it's all written but i think this looks quite cool so i'm happy with all of this so i'm going to go back to editing and then submit for review uh, there's no reason why it should be denied because it's already been on the Unreal marketplace but you need to submit for review before your listing goes live we need to review it to ensure it meets our guidelines reviews reviews usually take up to one to two business days so what I'm going to do is automatic publication. We'll publish your listing as soon as it passes review and after fab launches. Manual publication, you'll control when to publish your listing after it passes review. So that's cool as well. That's new, the manual publication. It used to always automatically go up. But this is quite good if you want to, you know, have it go live on a specific day. You can make sure you have it already beforehand so you know when it's going to go live. But I'm just going to do automatic because we already have this live anyway. And like I say, it's going to go as soon as fab launches. So I'm going to confirm that and close. And then what you're going to want to do is just go through all of your different submissions and do the same thing. Let's go back. I'll just go to pub, hover up and publish here and go to listings and you can see pending approval and draft. So I'll go into the quest system starter pack and do the exact same thing. Obviously the other one took me longer because I was talking about everything and reading it all through. This one will probably take me about 30 seconds because I just need to make sure everything is how it should be. So we've got Unreal Engine here, all of these different setups, asset package. That's all good. Title description everything is perfect product type for this one i think i might leave it as smart assets instead of game systems because the other one was specifically using the game engine's functionalities of behavior trees and blackboard and ai whereas this one is more what we've actually created ourselves so i wouldn't really necessarily say it's a game engine functionality um so that's a smart asset i'm going to put for this one I think they're very, very similar, and I think there's going to be a lot of overlap between the two. A lot of people are probably just going to put game systems. Before, it used to just be under Blueprints. That's what it was, so that's what they're coming from, um, which I think Blueprints is kind of a better term because it kind of encapsulates all of it. Blueprints is quite vague, but I think these are also pretty vague. They're very, very similar. Um, but I think for this one, we're going to put Smart Assets. 
category is going to be the category for these there's not actually a lot of categories although i think this is actually different based on the product type actually which is quite interesting um so this is a quest system so for the category i'm going to put none of these really fit so let me change over to game systems and see if that changes the categories it does again not really doesn't really fit in there too much so i'm just going to put this game systems and gameplay features um, I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. License type, I'll do standard again. And then the, the price, I will do the same for both of them. So the personal and professional, same price of 20 USD. Tags, I'm happy with those. All the images look good. No, this listing does not contain mature content. No, I don't want it to be used by generative AI. No, it wasn't made using generative AI. And yes, it includes promotional content because it has my company's logo in it. All of this looks good. Let me preview this listing once again. Make sure I'm happy with it all. I think this all looks good. Standard. Perfect. Let me read all of this. Perfect. Back to editing. Submit for review. Automatic. Confirm. Close. Okay, perfect. There we go. That's now working perfectly. So I've migrated all of my assets over. Granted, there was only two, but I've migrated them all over. Double check them all made sure I'm happy with them and now they're pending approval and within the next one to two days they will be live as soon as fab goes live and launches as well so that is perfect and you can see on here you've got all draft which I don't have any because I've just changed them pending approval is these two changes needed so once they've gone from a draft to be approved if you need to make any changes they'll come here then you've got approved and you've got live which this is different as well there was never approved and live there was just only draft pending and changes that was never approved in life so that's quite a cool different feature that they've made now and then also declined so if it's gone through pending approval and you don't need to make changes they're just not happy with it they'll decline it and so that is it and so that's it for this video i think this is again just another simple video of just going through the process of actually listing everything and migrating over from unreal engine marketplace to the new fab marketplace i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel quite a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.